in this connection, though, a real challenge is the demographic changes or the demographic transitions taking place. This is the circumpolar north. All blue colors shows regions where there is a male surplus and female deficit. And it looks to me quite blue, actually. Uh, only in the larger places, larger towns, you will find this uh, reddish color, which shows an equal uh, balance between males and females. But for the rest of the circumpolar north, there is a tremendous deficit of women. And the same goes if we look into details into the Nordic countries. Uh, the blue colors of the north uh, and the uh, Greenland, Faroe Islands, Iceland, and the northern uh, Fennoscandia. Well, a huge deficit, out-migration of women, simply because the present situation doesn't allow them to use their potentials. So, we, what we may experience is this traditional family situation into towns or villages where nice bachelors are living, but with limited possibilities for reproduction. And I think that's, that's a shame and, and uh, a limitation to, to the North. And one of the reasons is this. It shows, uh, you have the 50% here, it shows uh, the share of higher education among men and women. Well, if we go before 1991, uh, Males were dominating when it came to higher education, but as you can see, for all the Nordic countries have passed this line, and it goes for the circumpolar north. The only region is, which hasn't reached that point is the uh, Faroe Islands, but it, it's not because there are uh, less women in the Faroe Islands getting higher education, but they tend to move before they get the education, while in, in the northern regions, uh, the women get education, and then moves out of the region, simply because the region doesn't offer reasonable opportunities for them to stay uh, jobs that fits into uh, their potentials, fits into their qualifications. So I think that's probably uh, the most challenging uh, problem in the North, in the North Atlantic region in general, this that you need to shape the labor market situations in such a way that you will be managed to <clears throat> maintain a reasonable male-female ratio. Otherwise, you'll get in situations like this is a village in southern Greenland, where uh, there is a deficit of, of uh, almost 70% of women in, in uh, this village, simply because, well, there's, there are no offers, job offers. So, uh, the Demographic transition, the demographic changes are multidimensional because it's physical, people move physically, but it's also social. There are social changes and challenging uh, the, the situation in the North, economic and cultural. And of course, this will have immense impact on the survival of the, uh, and the future of the communities. So the challenge is to create a situation where you can compensate for some of these uh, effects. And now we are to the last point here, the regional responses to the knowledge challenges. Uh, well, what are presently the challenges? We have heard uh, climate change is definitely an important factor. Um, some of these challenges has to, to do with rights in the North Atlantic region and also in the, in the polar region as such has to do with what has already been mentioned previously, the fact that uh, reduction in ice conditions opens up for new transportation routes uh, and uh, opens up for vast uh, oil and gas fields and, uh, and uh, mineral resources. But again, to the previous, uh, pre uh, previous uh, mentioning about jobs, well, these are mainly male jobs. Uh, there are very few female jobs in connection with this. So it won't change that part of the, of the uh, process. The Nordic uh, Council has started looking into uh, how to change these processes, and there are quite a, a substantial amount of money, I think something like 6.8 billion kroner, 
uh, set aside for research, not only into this uh, field, but in general, uh, general in connection with the energy resources. And I think the North Atlantic region has an opportunity to bid into this process simply because there are so many aspects of connection to the, to the ocean, to the sea, uh, in connection with transportation, with fishing, with uh, communities that are interacting with uh, the environment, uh, and of course, tourism has become also a new activity. 